And whatever Barack Obama do in this hour, he represents the white man. He represents the ideology of the white man. He represents the policies of the white man. He represents the CIA set up, sabotage, lie on an African leader and bomb that man like he George Bush. He represents the white man. And his wife should leave the nigger tonight. She should walk out, and his beautiful daughter should walk out on this bamboozling, buck-dancing town. Oh, yeah, I said it. We've held back on this Negro for a long time. Have held back on him. And have tried to hope that the nature of the black man would somehow come to reality. He caved in like a punk. And you have fallen into this trap, Barack Obama, and you should have listened to Louis Farrakhan a long time ago when you were at his table. But you want to follow the white man, and the white man's time is up. How are you going to get out of this, Obama? A hundred million dollar a week, two hundred million dollar a week disaster. How are you going to get out of it? We pray that our Gaddafi survives. We pray that that black man from black Berber lineage and the black Berbers who fought the Arab invaders, that's why he have love for Africa. I'm talking about blacks in Africa. We pray he survives. When a black man is under attack, we don't run with the dogs. We don't run with the bloodhounds. We run when the black man is under attack. We've seen the white man coming after us the same way all the time. Only thing you see in Libya is just a big case of police brutality. We see the way they team up on us and run us down all the time. Sometimes it's a nigger police chief that's in the lead. This time it's a nigger police chief in the lead named Barack Obama. But it makes no difference. The black man is on the run named Gaddafi. We pray for his safety and that he survives. And so that he's in. And the white man will turn on Obama. The white man will say, nigga, we didn't give you this authority. This wasn't constitutional. You didn't come before Congress. Nigga, you just ran out there. You took a call from Netanyahu and ran out there buck dancing. Now you're busted. They will turn it on him. His future will be ruined because he wanted to be the white man's nigga. He would know he could have been a decent human being. Yo, yo, Malik, man, you know, you got some hate up in you, man. You be hating on my president, man. Well, yeah, he be half white, you know, dog. And he and, and ain't necessarily that, that half of him that be bad, you know, because I'm hearing a lot of hate from you. You be learning that from Islam, man? Is that the way you is to peace, man? I hear, I hear Jesse Jackson, a supposed Christian man, want to nut him. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Now, you tell me where he went wrong anywhere more than you is going wrong right here now. And I'll front you off right now, man. You ain't, you ain't going to say this and just get away with it. See, everybody listening to you now, dog. Everybody listening to you. Uh-huh. PBN for news that affects America. Join us on our live show at pushbacknow.com.